Good, good, good. Ladies and gentlemen. Get down, girl. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, in Newcastle today. Get down, girl. Good morning. Almost, down. almost. Certainly. Jay and the doctor. Weekday mornings from 6, Triple J. Let's get down to it. What was it like bumming the guy from Donnie Darko? It was definitely a pretty kind of uncomfortable situation to find yourself in. Was um, it funny? Yeah, it was really funny. I mean, there, there wasn't any. There, there weren't that many kind of Freudian giggles. You know, we, we, we knew we were there. We had a, a job. There was a story to tell. There were, were objectives um, and goals within those little scenes, little stories to tell. So it wasn't like the director didn't say, "Okay, roll the camera. Okay, guys, have fun with it." Um, you must be feeling it. You, there's a lot of nonsense surrounding the film. Yeah. Um, how, how do you feel now that you've been sort of shoved in the spotlight? As like, do you feel like you're kind of forced into this position of kind of gay rights activist all of a sudden? Uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I guess I, I, I now do have a certain responsibility to kind of uh, represent the film um, and. <laughs> now this form of love yeah. <laughs> you know um no, i'm not afraid to kind of voice my opinions and and how disappointed i can be sometimes over i guess the level of immaturity shown by people who kind of uh, just in general go out of their way to voice their disgust or like protest mm. with anger towards how two people choose to love each other it just kind of baffles me i think it's a waste of energy and i think uh I don't know, there's a lot of people out there who have a lot of time on their hands and kind of, you know, need to take up a hobby or something. Yeah, yeah for sure. How, like, the fil- this film was set in, like, the 60s and 70s. Do you think it sort of shows that things today are still kind of stuck in this mire? I don't know, I tend to disagree. I think it's had a, a really positive effect and, and a positive response. Um, you know, the one Utah, there's one cinema in Utah that banned it, but that's just one cinema in Utah. The rest of Salt Lake City was sold out and uh, all the red states have actually... Uh, been seeing the film. Um, yeah. Well, there's Jim Bob here from Wyoming who, uh, <laughs> that's his name, Jim Bob Jimishide. There ain't no queer in cowboy and I don't care for anyone suggesting there is. Meanwhile, he offered a suggestion, a movie about two women would be different. I wouldn't mind that at all. <laughs> so, uh, do, do, you, do, you, do you feel you really even need to respond to these sort of comments? Oh, no. No, I, I mean, I, I haven't, but, um, mm. yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's just as funny as it just sounded then, you know. Not your accent. But no, thanks. So, yeah, sorry, yeah, see, um, so you're not the up for an Oscar, good. Doctor. That's true. Yeah, that'd be why, I think, yes. Put on the rubber gloves. Yes. I think we did. Breakfast. Hey, boy. Hey, girl. Superstar DJ. Here we go. With Jay and the Doctor. Is, is Bernie on yet? I've got to... Oh. I know, just the level in which my life has changed. Um, since yeah. Ship to Shore. Since, since being in Ship to Shore, yeah. uh, <laughs> the profound changes from being snowy balls and being and always having your plans thwarted by that uh, that angry guy in the army clothes. Yeah, I can't remember that. Remember that? <laughs> he was the guy. He, 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 drove, he drove the buggy. That. He drove the buggy, and he was always the guy, like always stopping all the things happening. Oh, he was. He was. I can't even remember. <laughs> that. Jesus. Anyway, I'll take, I'll take that's your like word two for pages it. of interview questions <laughs> gone.